Tall Tale TV. Street Cred by Christopher Heron. The only thing worse than being in debt is being in debt to a loan shark with a penchant for collecting people's teeth in pickle jars. Matt slammed back another shot. The drinking wasn't helping his financial predicament any, but it was helping to make sure he was stupid enough not to worry half as much as he knew he should. Besides, this wasn't a social outing. He was here in this dive bar that smelled of stale booze and ripe regret to meet his Hail Mary, Dante Fitzgerald. Matt had known Dante since elementary school, where the pint-sized hustler had run an underground fight club during recess until one of the kids got a bloody nose and snitched. Matt, ashamedly, had been the snitch. Matt was the kind of man that folded when things took a turn. Dante, however, was the kind of man who told everyone his name was Dante rather than Eugene because he felt it gave him street cred. The guy was by no means the brightest crayon in the cookie jar, but he was driven, fearless, and had a gift for finding money with, let's say, unconventional methods. Matt slowly set his shot glass back on the bar. Let me get this straight. You're a hitman. Dante shook his head. No, well, yes, kind of. It's really a fine line distinction kind of thing. I'm not killing anyone. I don't care who I owe money to. Dude, keep your voice down. Dante waved at the bartender and chuckled nervously before whispering. You don't have to kill anyone, okay? It's a phone app where people post hit jobs. I've made over 900k this month, and I haven't so much as given a granny a nosebleed. Matt quirked a brow. How'd you pull that off? That's the genius part. Dante grinned from ear to ear. They pay half up front and half after, so I just take the jobs and never finish. The way I look at it, I'm saving lives. And besides, what are they going to do? Call the cops? So... You're scamming people who have no problems hiring a hitman, and you don't see an issue with this? Are you insane? Dante waved a hand dismissively. Come on, man. Grow a pair. I'm making mad bank, and I get to say I clack hammers and spit lead for a living. Mad street cred, bro. Hell no. And nobody talks like that. Matt stood to leave but the resounding sound of a gunshot rang out and sent Matt sprawling for the floor. What the hell was that? Dude, relax. It's just my app notification. They posted another job. Let's see who's not getting whacked today. Dante picked up his phone, navigating what Matt could only assume was tomorrow's obituary section. Holy crap. Check this out. They're offering a smooth million. Matt climbed to his feet, taking the phone from Dante's outstretched hand and scanning down the page. Dante, you're the mark. What? But this thing is supposed to be anonymous. Hmm, maybe you're right. It is a bit risky. What the hell are you going to do? Dante took back his phone, looking over the details of his assassination request. It made liberal use of the words slow and painful. Well, for starters, I'm going to make half a mil. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I saw this premise come across the writing prompt subreddit a few weeks ago, and I had to give it a try. This is actually my first flash fiction. In the past, I've always stayed well above a thousand words. So it was kind of fun to stretch my legs. Or not stretch them. Whatever. I'm Chris Heron, and that's it for today's Tall Tale TV.